I'm filming this at night, but this is a disclaimer. Today's vlog is all about Halloween Horror Nights. Most of it was filmed there in Diagon Alley. So, there may be graphic images in this video that may not be suitable for children under the age of 13. I want to give that warning at the beginning of the vlog, that if you are under 13, you may not want to watch this vlog. It is officially, officially, that time of the year. Oh, I'm so freaking out and so excited. I'm meeting up our friends Megan and Katie from, they've been in our vlogs before, but it's going to be us three tonight. They're from Swish and Flick Harry Potter Podcast, but we've known them for years. Sarah used to work with Megan, and they're like our, some of our best friends. They've been in the park. They actually flew here this morning from Ohio, and they're going to be flying out Sunday afternoon, I think. So literally, they're like hitting today, hitting Mad Disney tomorrow, but they're annual pass holders, so they've been in there all afternoon. They're meeting me out here because they're able to get a plus one for the extra hour, hour and a half of annual pass holder pre four nights time. So it's awesome that they're able to do that. I was always excited. Guess what? I found them. I found them. I found them! How excited are you? I'm so excited. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm, I'm nervous they're not going to let me in, so let's Nothing. get in. Here we are, Halloween Horror Nights 2018 event guide. I have not looked at it pretty much at all, but here is the awesome map. Look at this. I'm so excited. I think the mandatory ones we're doing tonight, I want to do that exposure patient zero, but she wants to do the scary tales. Deadly Ever After. But I think we're gonna do that in Stranger Things. Guys, 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 I'm allowed in here this year. Last year I promised Sarah I wouldn't go because she hadn't been, but now I've been and I can't not go with Megan and Katie in the Diagon Alley. And we're actually doing two trips here tonight? Yeah. Daytime and a nighttime. Yeah, yeah. Get a night. This Look is at my this. favorite place in the whole world. It's one of mine. Look at that. Look at that beautiful reptile up there. Okay, I promise this is the last non horror night clip <laughs> before we begin tonight because we're about to leave get some, some water from Lincoln Cauldron, but they've got fisherman's pie. How can food and wine doesn't have fisherman's pie? Like Universal does. Alright, so this is the holding area for the annual pass holders and because of my two good friends here I get to play like I'm an annual pass holder. So and I also I got the pumpkin juice. It tastes very, very good from Leaky Cauldron. Here we go. The Halloween Horror Nights fun begins. I was, we were wrong. It was 5.30 that it started, but it gave us time to get nice and sweaty so that the scare <laughs> actors don't come by us. Yeah, that's so a So it's like a, a scary yeah. deterrent. I'm so like sweaty slick if they try to grab me. <laughs> it just slips right off. <laughs> well, first two houses. So which one do you want to do first? Let's do. You want to do slaughter? You were pumped for slaughter let's cinema. Do slaughter cinema. And then. Warm me up before we get started. We heard dead exposure was. I was super pumped for dead exposure, but we heard from a team member in Diagon Alley that it's like a lot of strobe lights. So we're gonna hop into slaughter cinema first. I'm literally terrified, guys. My my fright has been building for two days now, and I don't know why because I don't get that scared. I'm so scared. Fifteen minutes. All right, so here's a car. We're about five minutes away from our first house because this one. Here's the back of this driving screen. They got popcorn and candies. Hot dogs, fries, and ice cold drinks. Dare I say pop? Because I'm with fellow Midwesterners. <laughs> I am literally shaking. I can't do this. All right, so we got done with our first house cinema. It was super good. It was very, very long. It was so So be long. prepared, great first house. And I liked it because some houses don't have a continuous theme. Like they kind of repeat the same tricks. But that was like every room was a different movie. And so there's different kinds oh, of creatures. You didn't see the posters? <laughs> Every like in-between room was a different poster. It was awesome. But it was really good. It was scary. But it was too long. I couldn't handle it for that long. I know, halfway through it, I was like, is this gonna be over? I don't see like the relief of sunlight. Well, I was in the front, Kate was in the middle, Meg was in the back, which I like that because I think the front is the least scary because you can, you can sometimes see the We're scare coming. Oh god. Well then, just let you know, like, I clinch, I flat tire, <laughs> and I jump the whole time. So if I'm in the back, you guys are done. I mean, I just did that to you guys, so it's good. And that was, we got in there, we got in early, we got in line at 5.30, and it's 5.55, so we waited like 
15, 15 20 minutes, minutes to get in and we were in there for like five or six minutes like forever it felt like forever <laughs> all right howling horror nights officially opens first night of the year in 10 minutes and we're about to walk into our second house horrors of blumhouse she's going in the front <laughs> yeah i'm going in the back so i'm just gonna break her shoulders this entire house that's okay and scream in her ears <laughs> okay yeah so that was so good it was mostly Happy Death Day, which at points I was like, eh, because the, the one character they used like, like over and mask. over. Yeah. And at times I saw multiple of them at the same time. So I was like, okay, but they were good, but it got real scary. Sometimes, don't be fooled when you see the door at the end, because sometimes there's somebody, literally the last nook, and this time I, I, I jumped in front of you. Because I, I was behind the whole time, and then somebody got me right at the end, and I literally screamed and jumped in between these two. But now you can see, those are all the people who aren't pass holders over there and over there because it's technically opening up in like a minute or two. Those poor unfortunate souls. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to grab bathroom break, water, and get in line for uh, Stranger Things and keep our fingers crossed for not a four hour wait. If It'll we get probably a... be dark after Stranger Things. Yeah, if my goal is I'll be satisfied if we get out before 10 or 10.30 from Stranger Things, because I hear it's a three, it was a three hour wait during team member preview. Here we go, some HHN merch. I don't think I showed any of this last year. It's kind of cool, but it's obnoxiously large. Yeah, it's really big. I feel like it would hurt your neck. Shirts for Trick or Treat, Michael, Halloween, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Chucky, Chucky, Fancy Cops, Stranger Things, True Fear Comes From Within, cool stuff. things this way through the scare zone what scare zone is this? this looks like trick-or-treat so spooky <laughs> this guy's spooky this over here is kind of creepy All right, Stranger Things, 100 minutes, hopefully. That is a lot of people. All right, it's been about 50 minutes since we got in line. We started all the way over there. We still have four or five more rows before we go over there. We've heard from people online, live updates, that um, that it's great. Jennifer Adams said it was awesome. So we're pumped. We're still optimistic and it looks like we think at most it might be two hours. Like I'm saying, tops two hours probably. And if that's the case, that's a A plus success for opening Night of Stranger Things. So it ended up being a little longer. It's now 8.35. This is the time, 100 or 100 minutes, hour and 40 minutes from when we got in, we'll be getting in the house right now. We probably will be in the house in the next 20 minutes. And I don't know if I said it earlier, but I said if we get out of Stranger Things before 10.30, that's an A plus, it's only 8.40. We'll probably be out of the house before 9.30, and that's like cake. That's awesome. Then we're okay. gonna hit up Harry Potter. Yeah, we're gonna just chill. Diagon Alley. This is Rip Ride Rocket. This is our midline, or almost line, end of line entertainment. Here it comes, here it comes. Whoa. I also don't like to go on that ride anymore because it makes me almost pass out. going through a scare zone to go to Diagon Alley. Please excuse the first night of HHN's vlog for a nice healthy dose of nighttime Diagon Alley, which I have never seen and it is gorgeous. 
because I'm with half of Switch and, Switch and Flick, these two goons, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, get some AC, rest our feet, maybe this dragon will spit some, some mad beats, AKA fire. Katie's trying to show me a cool magic trick. Oh! <laughs> puff, puff pride forever! Now this is a homage to studios. Does it rain? Ooh. Right, so Megan convinced me to get ice cream because there's the most delicious butterbeer ice cream. And so commences a really awesome nighttime Diagon Alley ice cream eating montage. FaceTiming some of their friends, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sneak up and find Katie and Pop and Dad FaceTime because one of their viewers watches us. So I'm gonna do it and surprise them on both." Okay. We got some of Megan's favorite people over here. Megan, introduce your friends to the vlog. This is Jess, and this is Regine. I've met Regine before. She rocks. She yeah. has a cat on her lap. So I forgot to say two things. So I'm gonna say them now. We actually ran into Nate and Veronica from Page of Mr. Mile. Go check them out. They're like one of the best and they make awesome, hilarious content all around Disney World. So we'll put the link down below. And then our plans keep changing. It was a 45 minute wait still for Green God, so we're not gonna go on it. We're gonna go through some scare zones and that might be it for the night, but we'll see. These two chicks have a full Disney day tomorrow, so we don't want to destroy their hearts, souls, and ankles specifically tonight. We can break their ankles tomorrow. Okay, now we're doing scare zones. Oh man, look at how scary that whole area looks. Look at them, here they come. Here are all the clowns. When are they gonna break their formation? These ones are quite frightening. I don't like this. No, it's weird. It's super weird. It's bizarre. So creepy. This is not Toy Story Land. Since you guys won't leave me in peace, I'm gonna have to leave you in pieces. All right guys, I'm home. I dropped off Megan and Katie at Caribbean Beach. We're gonna see them tomorrow morning early. So we're gonna go to bed. I can't believe it's 12.07 a.m. and I'm back from Holland Horror Nights. But I'm gonna go multiple times and then Megan and Katie woke up in Ohio this morning. So they don't wanna get too exhausted before their big Disney day. Tomorrow's their only full day, so. My takeaways were super fun. Uh, scare zones were not as like scary as they were last year, but they were super entertaining. Stranger Things was very cool. wasn't like I said it was like middle level scary, top level cool, and like very detailed to the show. So if you're a big fan of the show, you're gonna love it. Um, we did the cinema was probably my favorite. I want to do the other ones. Um, Blumhouse was really good. Blumhouse was better last year, but it was surprised me this year. And I'm excited for the trick or treat house, but I haven't done it yet. So I will be going back soon. Um, but it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>